Hey guys, Rob Tech Help here, back with another tech review for you guys. Today guys, I have with me here the HP X27 QC QHD or Quasi HD gaming monitor. But before I get into the video guys, please click the subscribe button as I upload affordable tech reviews and leave a like as it really helps the channel out. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video okay guys so predominantly this is what the box of the monitor actually looks like once it's open you get two sections and, and, and on the top you have the sort of the components the wires um, you know the plugs and such and on the bottom you actually have the monitor now the main components are obviously pretty simple as you can see it comes with a plug as usual an instruction manual again as usual a display port cable um, unfortunately no HDMI cable was provided uh, when I bought this I'm not sure why because it's quasi HD and um, usually with monitors anyway you should get HDMI cable especially in this day and age I'm not sure why I didn't get that um, you also get a base for the monitor and of course uh, the midsection or stem that that kind of base and and the monitor together you know to sort of fit into the, the actual monitor um, I do actually think that's pretty nice that the components that make up the whole monitor are separated into various sections it just kind of just stops uh, from the monitor being damaged as well and it just looks really really good um, I have to commend HP for this now the monitor itself comes in a very protective foam material and um, you, you can see that it's obviously separated from the other components as I mentioned before um, which I think is very very handy and in this part of the video as well you can also see the different connections that it has um, it's got the display port and it's also got HDMI and a 3mm jack socket as well for you to use and you can see how really slick um, the monitor is and it's obviously a curved monitor um, which is really really good for your overall view when you're watching it or you know playing a game um, you know I really like the curved monitors for for gaming monitors sorry but uh, essentially these are all the components that come with the monitor as you can see you get your display port again so everything's laid out for you you've got your display port you've got this weird um, sheet that I don't want to point the video because I have no clue what it is um, but you've got obviously the bottom of the monitor you've got the monitor itself you've got the plug and you've got the stem setting up the monitor is pretty is simple you simply need to connect the base and the midsection together as you can see here and what you really want to do is just screw the base at the bottom it, you know it's simple really I think nearly every monitor you know it is basically designed this way where you got to screw it at the bottom as you can see here once you once that's done you literally just need to slot the midsection and the base into the monitor and that's really it I think the, the whole process actually doesn't take that long to put it all together I think it literally took me roughly about tops five minutes you know but if, you, if you've done this so many many times you know it, it won't take you that long to sort this out at all now you can easily adjust the monitors degree of motion and uh, you know up and down only you can't really obviously move it left or right it's mainly an up and down motion um, and but it, it all just depends on what is comfortable for you in terms of you know do you want it higher or do you want it lower depending on how you sit and how you like to game you know so th th this is just to demonstrate to you you know what it looks like when you when you do try that um, the monitor as I mentioned before does come with a jack uh, and it doesn't have its own microphone inbuilt um, which does mean that you will probably require external speakers for sound and to be honest the external speakers are usually just much better 
um, to use than the actual monitor sound anyway, um, because you can get, you can get some really really good speakers that you can connect in there, and then that will just do the job for you, especially if you're going to be gaming. You know, uh, the control buttons for the monitor are on the end of the monitor, and you can easily adjust the volume, the color, and the picture quality using these buttons. Uh, one thing I did find weird though was that uh, you know I don't I don't see why you should be adjusting volume when you can't really hear anything for the monitor. Um, uh, there's no sound from it from from what I recollect, um, but but it is there, and um, <laughs> again I don't know why it's there, but you know uh, that's for HP to figure out. But essentially, this is what the monitor looks like when it's turned on initially, and now with this monitor, you know it. It actually has different response times um, b because this is a QHD monitor with 165 um, Hertz uh, refresh rate there are different levels of response times um, for, and for this specific monitor um, it's it's level 1 to 4 with 4 being the fastest uh, response rate and here I am using a the fastest response rate uh, while I'm playing a, a game of code using the you know the fastest response rate of level four. Now I I'm, I must admit that in this game when I was playing it, it, it my it was pretty bad when I was testing this out be because of my internet. My internet was just pretty bad, so there was quite a lot of lag. But I'm just hoping that you can actually see the actual res response rate in the gameplay and not not focus too much on the lag that was in there because I did notice the lag when I was playing which is very very annoying at that at that moment in time now this is me playing in the regular response mode on COD again and I have to say even in level 1 the response time I just seem to be quite enjoy the gameplay you know I mean I mean let me know in the comments if you guys notice a big difference in the two different levels I have used as I said before this is a QHD monitor, which just means quasi HD. Um, so it's more, it's, it's a higher resolution than um, full HD, and just beneath um, 4K HD. But it has really great response time, and I think that the 4K monitors don't tend to have the high um, response time and refresh rate that is is needed for PlayStation 5 and 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 you know the new gen consoles. But this this one with a 165 hertz. Is very suitable for the new new gen consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series X, so the quality will be re impressive regardless of, of what refresh rate you decide to use. To sum up, so far I've, I've definitely enjoyed using this monitor. I have noticed some slight blur when I did play FIFA 21. Um, I played it in level four response mode, and F FIFA is not—it's not really a game where you know you kind of look too much at the response rate and, and those sorts of things. Um, but I think th this may be just due to my settings being slightly off. But I'm definitely going to use it more in the coming weeks, and and give you guys a more realistic view review. Uh, but so far, you know, I would say that this this monitor is a thumbs up for me, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, for especially if you want to be gaming in your room you know you want to be gaming on twitch or anything like that but anyway guys you know let me know what you guys think about this monitor if you have it already let me know if you have any comments on it um if you felt you saw any difference or you know or or you like the look of it if you saw any differences between wh when i switched from level four to level one let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do an extended review again let me know please like you know because it does really help out the channel comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon it's rob tech help here and i'm out peace